Since the red one can have up to 32 different control items, we can often find ourselves in a situation where we have to scroll and scroll and scroll through multiple items to get to what we want to control. In this case, it can be helpful to program the red one with different pages of controls. The red one does not natively support pages, but we can give it page functionality using presets. In this example, we're going to want to have four pages. The first page is our main menu. The second page would be our music selection page. The third page would be volume controls. And the fourth page would be the room presets. To accomplish this, we'll need four more presets, both on the red one and our remote preset. For the red one, we change the logic out to 10. On the remote preset, we change the number of available preset buttons to 6. And then we wire those up just like the first two. Now we need to create our pages. When using presets on the red one, we cannot increase or decrease the number of control items with a preset. So we have to make sure the red one has enough control items to satisfy any of our pages. Of our four pages, the one with the most control items will be the volume control page. That needs to have one control item for each of the six microphones, as well as a volume control for the music, and also a back button to get us back to the main menu for a total of eight control items. So no matter what I need on each page, I have to have eight control items on every page. The control items that I don't need can be blank. So to start with, my first control item on the main menu page is going to be the music select. Now, when I want to go to the music select page, I need to trigger a preset. Our last four logic indices on the red one, number 7, 8, 9, and 10, represent our four pages. 7 is the main menu, 8 is the music select, 9 is the volume, and 10 is the room presets. So when I trigger the music select, I need to trigger logic index number 8. When I want to go to the volume control, I need to trigger logic index number 9. And for room presets, I need to trigger logic index number 10. The other control items on this page can all be blanked out with a single space. They still exist on the red one, but in this configuration, they don't do anything. So this is what my main menu should look like. I need to create a preset that looks like this. To do that, I'll go to Presets, Create Edit Recall, create a new preset, call it Main Menu, and then remove everything from that preset except the red one. And then I save it. My next page on the red one will be Music Selection. And for that one, I'm going to need five control items. The first control item will be a back to take me back to the main menu. And that will trigger logic index number seven. Remember, number seven is the main menu. Number eight is the music select. Number nine is the volume control. And number 10 is our room presets. Our second control index on this page is the CD player which is logic index one, our third is the DVD, and so on. Once I have those all programmed, I have to create a preset for that page. New preset, 
called Music Select, remove everything, add the red one, save the preset. My next page will be the volume control. For the volume control, the first control index doesn't change. I need to change the second control index to be mic1. It's very important that I remove the logic index programming and then put in the control for microphone 1. Once all of the mics and the music volume have been added, again I have to create a preset. New preset, remove everything, add the red one. This one is my volume preset. Save it. And then last, I need to create a page for my room presets. Again, the back on index 1 can stay, but the rest have to change. For this page, we'll rename the second control index to normal preset and assign that to control index number 5. The third index becomes conference preset and is assigned to logic index number 6. Once again we have to create the preset with nothing in it but the red one. Pulling up the controls for a remote preset and assigning those presets to it is the last step in the process. Now when we open up the red one, we can trigger our presets and see exactly what the red one screen will look like. The main menu will look like this. When we switch to music select, or volume control, or room presets, the screen of the red one will change. With a relatively small amount of programming, we can make the red one much easier for our users to navigate. 